Peppers, welcome back to my channel, Simone, loving it up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I call all of my subscribers that tune in living uppers because every day that is what we are here to do on my channel to continue to live it up, which is basically living your best life, whatever that means to you. Okay, so don't forget to like comment, share, and subscribe. So we done with all that business. From the title, we will be diving into the outdoor furniture selection that I had selected to set up the gazebo. Right now, the gazebo is completely done. Let's just take a deeper dive into why we chose to do a gazebo over a pergola as well as a pavilion. So I'll take a deeper dive into those and tell you the differences of those and show you the final outcome and how I designed it. But that would be a separate video that I'll we did get our covered patio extended by our builder before we moved in our home. After we decided to get a gazebo built, we did not want to extend that current slab. So we only wanted where the columns were going to be placed at. So that's the only place we decided to extend. So here you can see those two separate columns. That's where the gazebo column will be placed. We decided to go with a gazebo because the main difference between the gazebo that you see here and the next clip will be the pergola is the functionality of the roof. A gazebo and a pavilion provides full coverage from the sun, while the pergola that you see here allows for the sunlight to shine through the roof. So the gazebo provides full coverage from the sun. It gives us that functionality while we are sitting outside. We don't have to worry about the sun nor other inclement weather. If it's raining outside, we can fully enjoy ourselves while we are outside under the gazebo. So I had just wanted to point out those differences between the gazebo, pergola, as well as the pavilion. Here is our backyard project. It got delivered today. It took three men delivering it, as well as my husband assisted. Here are some behind the scenes where my husband and our neighbor fully built the gazebo with all of these thousand pieces. We did decide to go with a 12 by 14 gazebo that covers the majority of our extended covered patio. And once again, in the previous clips you've seen where we did just have to get the additional concrete slab just to fit the columns. It took about three days for my husband and the neighbor to complete the entire gazebo installation, along with some additional help from myself, my neighbor's wife, as well as our neighbor across the street. But we got it done and stay tuned and enjoy the complete installation process where you will be able to see behind the scenes of all the work that it did take to build the gazebo enjoy Thank <laughs> you. 
it soon. Look at all oh, everything it takes to actually build the gazebo. It is amazing. All of these screws. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Drop in the comments below. Have you built your own gazebo before? Do you have a pergola? Do you have a pavilion? What you currently have in your backyard? If you have nothing but you are thinking about a gazebo, drop in the comments below. This video will be very helpful, so make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the final product.